Howdy. Once again, we will be looking at some tips for the Autodesk certified user in Fusion 360. One of the requirements for sculpting indicates that you must create a form, edit a form, and thicken a form. Today, we will be discussing how to perform each of those operations in Fusion 360. So I am displaying the sculpt menu right now. However, it is not um, expanded by default like this. Typically, when you first see Fusion 360, your ribbon only shows this little purple box right here. And that is the Create Form button. By clicking that, we can then launch into Sculpt where we can see many different options. You may be prompted to create any of these types of form, the box, the plane, the cylindrical, the quad ball, or the face. Today I'll just demonstrate briefly how to create a quad ball. You need to click a plane for it to rest on. You need to uh, indicate a center point, which I typically will go with an origin. Please make sure you read and follow the exact values that you are given. All right. I am just uh, going with the defaults on this. And you may also be prompted to perform some edits to that. So one of the possible edits um, would be to right click on that edit form and drag it a certain number of millimeters, whatever they specify, let's just say 35, for example. At that point in time, you would be accept, uh, expected to find out what the properties were, be it the grams or mass, and you would not be able to find that until you finish the form. And then go to the bodies again and right click on the properties. Then you would be able to find your mass or your volume. And that would be used to answer the questions. Also, it is possible that you could be asked to create a plane. And Again, you want to follow the dimensions that you are given when you create the plane. I'm just going with the default. You may be requested to edit, make edits to that plane. Again, I'm going with some random numbers. And you could also be expected to modify and thicken a form. Uh, perhaps five millimeters, perhaps thicker. And once again, in order to get the details, the properties, you would have to finish that form and then right click on it to determine its properties where you would find area, density, mass, volume. Any of those could be used to answer questions on the ACU exam.